expose dating etiquette. But first, okay, I know I don't put on makeup. Sometimes I cannot be bothered to do that. I will try to get better about it, but I don't know. I love myself without makeup. I love myself with it on, whatever. Blah, dating etiquette. So I hear so much about dating and like rules and not rules and I'm not here to give you rules because this is not that type of channel where I'm like telling you like what to do and all that advice and blah blah I just wanted to come and put and just say what works for me and maybe it is your rule too so asking now people there are like alpha females for some reason these days that are literally making it hard for guys to ask us out and they get intimidated and I've heard this from a lot of guys like they're scared to ask women out I'm so traditional like I like guys to come and ask me out but now you're hearing like girls should go ask guys out or girls should be for because guys are shy and timid guys why are you timid and why are you shy that is your job to be like aggressive and to be you know to go for what you want that's what you used to do in caveman days hello let's get back to that so for me like asking out guys should do it absolutely 100% I don't believe in girls asking guys out like I just don't even know what I just think you're just emasculating the guy just from the beginning like it's just uh, I don't I don't get it paying I think guys should pay that's just me. I think I should always pay. Like, every boyfriend I've had has always paid for me. Like, I never pay. Like, it's just something that I'm like, I just have because we do other things for the guy. So, when it comes to dinner, I mean, it's just a little, it's like, it's all, it's the least you can do, sweetness. The least you can do is to pay. Um, when it comes to, like, touching and kissing on a date, like, on a first date, no, no. We're getting to know each other. Why are you touching and why are you trying to kiss me? And no, absolutely not. And if a guy's trying to kiss you, like, and really moving forward and not respecting your boundaries, even after you said, back, back, son, sir, please back up, sir. Like, and he's not respecting your boundaries, end the date. That's it. Like, you just know right there that he's not going to respect you at all whatsoever. Trust me, I learned the hard way. That is for another video. Kissing. Um, like... I don't think there should be kissing at all on a first date. Like, if there's, if this goes on for several dates, of course. But first date, second date, we're getting to know each other. Let's, you know, let's talk. Let's see what we like, blah, blah, blah. If the chemistry is there, I just spit. That's so gross. If the chemistry is there, then yes. I mean, by all means, let's do that. Okay, and then, um, and then sex. Sex on a first date? Why would you even, for me, I'm like, for me, everyone has AIDS and herpes until I find out that they don't have AIDS and herpes. In my mind, I'm like, you have AIDS or you have herpes or you have some kind of STD that I certainly do not want. So I don't even like think about any of that stuff on a first or second date. Like, I don't know. It just like, it makes me all like, Ugh, because I'm like, I don't know you. I have no idea who you are. I'm one of those people too that like, if I when, if I go to their house, like on the fourth or fifth date or whatever, I'm, I'm going through makeup cabinets because these people like, they, they hide things from you. And I have a video for you about a herpes little scare that I had with some guy who just decided to, but anyway, that was blah, blah. So yes, sex on a first date. Absolutely not. That is just like, no, that's a no flex zone. No flex, no sex zone over there. Um, planning. Like, when if a guy asks you out, or if a girl asks you out, which is like, but if I think whoever asks you out should plan. Like, if a guy is asking a guy, or a girl is asking a girl, or a girl asking a guy, guy versus guy asks girl, whatever. There should be planning involved. I don't want, like, I've had dates that would come to the door and pick me, or, or, or I would go meet them or whatever, and they'd be like, what do you want to do? What do you mean, what do I want to do? You asked me out. This should already been planned, sir. Like, I had, one example, I did have this guy that asked me out, and he actually had everything planned. He's like, going on a boat thing, steak, blah, blah. I didn't go with him because he had boundary problems, so I was like, no, sir, thank you. But thanks for planning. I love that you plan. No other guy plans. But, like, there has to be a plan. Plan something out. Even if it's something as, like, menials going to the movies, and then after we'll go get dinner, or whatever, which I find completely a big yawn and bore. But, like, you have to plan before the date commences. So... That's my dating etiquette. What is yours? What do you think should happen? What do you believe? Let me know. Thanks so much for watching Mary Expose. See you next time. No sex zone. No sex zone. Day no.